Hello and welcome to part 5 of the USS Nimitz 1700 scale by Trumpeter build. Uh, in this part, uh, I've started on, well, I've very much just started on the assembly of the island. Now, there's quite a lot involved in this, um, not just in kit parts, as you can see. There's, there's quite a few bits, but there's also a lot of photo etch. So the assembly of this goes over quite a few pages. Well, it's a couple of pages. Then we go on to the mast. Um, the only reason I'm doing this now is because I've got the light deck I've just sprayed in a clear coat. Um, I wanted to get that clear coat on there because it just offers that extra layer of protection when I tape it all up because I need to tape up that flight deck so I can spray around the outside the ship grade and I'd rather have it the tape go over the clear coat um, rather than just the risk of um, going over the base coat and pulling up anything because I did deliberately do a light coat because the white primer underneath but it comes through and it just makes it not look so solid we get that used look on the flight deck as you would have seen in the previous video so yeah so while that's drying which will take half the day it's it's only about uh what time is it here now it's just going on to 8 a.m i painted half an hour ago so i'll give it probably most of the day to dry and then I'll, then I'll go back to building up all the sections around the outside all the photo etch of the netting and and so forth that involved being done on the flight deck but between now and then uh, I thought well I'll start here on the island so in this kit we have a clear um, superstructure for the island and you can have a look it's uh why they use a clear piece for this um i don't really know i mean i know there's clear flight deck and clear hanger deck and you can use all those parts but there's really nothing to see inside there is there um, so that being the case this is going to get painted anyway um so it won't be clear on my finished model so I'll be building up all the parts onto this. There's quite a bit of photo etch to go on this. Um, there's lots of sections here. Um, there's a, like a, a, a window area there that's all photo etch. Um, yeah, quite, quite a bit. And then it goes on to the mast. I won't be doing but the railings, especially the railings. So there's there's a lot of places on here. See that? So there's a lot of bits that need to be taken off and then replaced with proper railing. And uh, and I've checked, and even though this is for a different kit, um, this photo etch was for a, a different version of the Nimitz. Uh, these are actually the right sizes and they will go on there even though the numbers that refer back to the parts uh, are not accurate so for instance h so this section here is h4 well i don't have a sprue h so there is no h h4 but that that section is in my kit it's just that it's on sprue s and it's number uh, 14 <laughs> so yeah um, so it just means a little bit hunting around for the pieces but uh, I do know that they will get uh, so far I will be double checking everything as I go all right 
so I'm going to start building up some of this. Um, and another thing with this is there's a lot of clear parts as in the windows for this are clear. Now I will have to tape them up. I'll see how the construction of putting this together goes and whether I can get away with putting these in after or whether they're part of the construction. It does look like, for instance, here that the clear glass, clear plastic parts uh, need to be put in place before other sections can be put in place. So there will be a case where they'll need to be taped. Or, um, like I did in my last model, I did a Bandai X-Wing. I the cot pit I, to mask up the cot wit. I used a liquid mask, so that's probably what I will try and do. That liquid mask worked really well, um, so um, I will probably end up doing that. Okay, I'll show you as we progress through on this, and um, I'll see you in a second. Hello, welcome back. I'll show you where I'm at with this, um, doing the uh, island. Um, very, very tricky and fiddly work, especially how small this is. But uh, let's have a look. If you can see this, happily. So we have a clear plastic main superstructure there for the island, which will get painted, of course. There's a photo etch piece in there that was I had to melt and anneal it so I could bend it into that shape. There's a couple of platforms on there. And as you go up higher, right on the side might be the best way to look, you'll see that there's oh, get it there. Right, so there's two levels of windows which are covered in green at the moment and that's liquid mask there's also a railing around the second level as you can see that's going up going on there there's another bit that juts out the side on this side and then there were all the walls put in there's another level to go on top of this so this part here will go on top of there and there's some railing to go around on there and then there's another level on top of that so yeah so that that level uh, will be the top level so i'm getting there um just so i'd show you where i'm at at the moment and uh I'll be back shortly and we'll have a look at it, hopefully, uh, all put together. Back in a second. And welcome back. So I've completed the um, the bridge area and of the isle and the island. As you can see, a lot of bits and pieces on here, very tiny. Um, we've got some railings, we've got the, the areas you see in green are the windows which are covered in the masking liquid mask um, yeah lots of bits and pieces on that so I've still got to build the the mast which goes on top of this with all the radars and everything on it but this was just filling in time while the deck was drying with the clear coat and the elevators that's all done now so i'm going to bring that out now and um, look at what needs to be added to that which is quite a lot as well and as for this well i'll put it aside for now and come back to work on the mast if um if i get stuck holding up waiting for something else like paint to dry <laughs> all right back shortly and we'll have a look at the deck Okay, so here's our elevators are all um, painted and clear coated. 
But what I need to do with these is just um, tape them up, put some masking tape across there, and then paint all the outside of these, the, the ship color gray, including the netting across here. Um, the clear coat was just a bit of extra protection, so I don't go pulling up any of the paint. Um, so I'm going to tape them up now and give them a spray. That won't take too long. The actual um, deck itself is all done and clear coated. It's come up really nice. I like the finish on that. It's come up real, really good. And um, so what I've done already was I've cut some of the edging off here where that netting goes around the side. Um, there's a, a couple other little bits that might need to be cut off. Um, um, but there's a lot to go around the outside here. There's lots of that netting to go around. There's bits around the front here that have to go on, all the photo etch. Um, there's a lot of antennas that have to go on. Um, and that's all from underneath. So the underside of this has parts to be put on it as well. The antennas, <laughs> I might leave them until later if I can avoid it. It just depends on whether they'll go on just as easily after the deck's been turned over. Um, so, yeah, so as you'll see here, the, a lot of these around here are all antennas that are going to go on. This is the, looking at the deck upside down. The brass wires go through to the back here where the planes grab onto. Um, there's a few other sections to go on there. This also has to be taped. Um, not necessarily completely all taped, but I need to do the outside of it again in the grey that has to be of the ship. So I will have to tape up at least around the outside of it. Um, so there's a lot of getting to the point where then the deck's going to go on the top of the ship. So not far off that happening. Yeah, actually that came sooner than I thought. All right, so I will go ahead and start masking those elevators and I'll get them painted and then I'll start work on this. Okay, thanks, back shortly. Hello, welcome back. So I thought I'd show you what my whole day will be spent doing is on the sides of the main deck here all the way around our little stairways go up from the walking platforms and all those stairways need railings fitted uh, there's about 12 of them around the outside here to give you an idea of just how small these are let's have a look at the photo etch so all these pieces in here are all the railings there's ones for left and one for ones for right. So I have to take them all off, bend them. So we've got them looking like this. It's going to be hard to see, but it should focus in. So it may not. So they need to be placed. Just get this one properly held properly and yeah so for example this one will go on there like that okay so that will be glued into spot into that spot there there'll be another one go there there's another one here there's 12 of them all the way around the outside now um, then after I've done all of those just checking uh, there are ones for these ones here if you can see that where they're coming straight from the deck like walking straight up 
they're like ladders more than anything else and there's actually brackets to go on either side of those and those brackets are i'm gonna find what number are they number 53 which is the other sprue so all right there they go here we go so you can see that see all these brackets the whole lot are the railings for each side of those ladders left and right and i'm guessing here there's one two three four five six there's six on this side and there's probably at least six on the other side that's 12 so that'll be 24 railings individually placed on all of those that we love photo edge um and then after that when i've got that done probably by lunchtime <laughs> i don't know it's like what is it now it's it's nine in the morning um we have all these you can see all these parts here all this and this all these and then on the other sprue there's more so we've got all all these these are all that netting that go there they are there's for the front of the ship on the deck flight deck on the end they're all for around the outside all the way around so they all need to be fitted as well um, i've done the aerial support so this here for the lights is fine but there's these little ones here sticking out that you might see slide that uh, along all that way <laughs> so they're all done underneath um, no, I haven't put the areas on there because they point up above the height of the deck and they're going to get knocked off for sure so I won't be doing that I've also put under here some like uh, support areas under there you can see all those pieces sticking out that the aerials will attach to so yeah so that that's my, my my plan today will be to work around and do all of those okay uh we'll come back and have a look at the progress back shortly okay hello welcome back so made some progress here so what i've done is i've put in all the life drafts go all the way around the side all the way along here um, i've done all the photo etch um, here where the netting is that goes around the edge of the flight deck see that all went on nice um, obviously this being photo etch for a different aircraft carrier a couple of things weren't going on as they should but i think it's still come up quite well a few little adjustments a bit of trimming um, another thing on this if i can get in close enough is you can see there's a lot of all the stairways in there all the railings had to be put on so that took a little bit of time there's a bit there too see the railings on the stairs so i've just got to do the other side of this now um, I've done all the railings and that but just putting in all these life rafts uh, on the other side and then I'll be at the stage where I'll be able to mask this deck up uh, to paint all these on the side what I'm going to do is I've got some five millimeter tipmere um, tape masking tape in here and i'll run that all the way around the edge here and then i'll come back with some thicker tape and do another layer off the edge of this 
and that should be enough. I may not need to actually cover the whole flight deck, but at least come in a, an inch or so, um, so that when I'm spraying, there's not going to be any overspray. And be very careful because some of these ladders and railings uh, go up against the deck there. Um, so I have to be right on that edge there, which is the idea of using the 5mm tape to get it right up there accurate. And then spray all that as well as underneath. And then pretty much think I think we're at the point then where this deck will go onto the hull. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to finish that other side now and um, it's not too bad. The instructions are quite simple. It's just a matter of putting the right numbers in the right places. Um, of course, there's a few things on the deck to do yet, but that'll come after. I can do that once everything, the deck is down and on the ship. Okay, we'll be back shortly. Okay, hello, welcome back. And as you can see, I've got it all taped up. The flight deck's ready to be painted. Well, the outsides are all ready to be painted the same grey as the ship. Um, very carefully did all the edges around there. I did knock off three railings, but I've replaced them, so that was inevitable. <laughs> so I'll give this a coat of paint now and um, I guess that it, uh, it, it shouldn't take long before I can take this um, tape back off and then uh, we'll have a look at it or going to plan um, probably how to put this deck on the hull today but that will be for the next video but um, I'll at least come back and show you what this looks like when I've finished the paint job okay so i'll be back in about three or four hours but um to you it'll be two seconds right back okay welcome back and uh as you can see taped up masked up and painted and i only did this about half hour ago and um no reason to leave the tape on there much longer um, so I intend on taking this off I'll see how looks how it looks underneath this uh, tape in the center is not a big deal uh, it's more the stuff around the outside that I've got to be real careful because it comes right up close against some of the railings and stuff on the side of the ship there um, and I think it was a good idea putting the um, clear coat down as well on the deck before I taped it because it just gives that extra bit of protection where you know, we don't want to be peeling off anything that we don't want. And going by this at the moment, it's certainly um, nothing coming off this tape. It's still as fresh as when I put it on. Although, there we go. I have spotted a railing there. Don't know how it got there because that's it might have been on the deck when I replaced it. So that's okay. Keep this coming off. Good. I might just put this flat on the mat. Be easier to work with. It's getting to a point now where it's really hard to hold it anywhere because of the because of everything everywhere on the side sticking out I'll be glad when I've got this on the hull okay let's uh, take this off let's be 
next day. That's good. Coming off really nice. So it was the Tamiya tape I used on the edges here. And that's perfect. Um, the other stuff is called frog tape. I just buy that in the local hardware store. Good. Alright, that's just the tape left on the outside. I know it's, it's, it's got somehow, some of this has lifted and got a bit of overspray here on the deck, but that's all fine once this deck's all weathered up. Um, that's not going to be any issue whatsoever, because there will be quite a few marks and stuff on here. It's always very satisfying when you take off tape, especially when you get a good result. This is going well. This is going well. while I was waiting on this to dry a little bit I did the exhaust um, barriers I don't know what they're actually called these are the um, these <laughs> see that so the blast barriers for the jets now there's four of those three are one size and one smaller one so I've put them all together and um, I've just given them an undercoat. By the time I'm done here with doing this, that'll be ready to do um, the base coat, which will be the black. Yeah, it'll be the black that this deck is. And uh, be able to start putting a few things on the deck. It's nice, it's nice and neat. Mm -hmm. Good. So. Definitely the easiest way was to put all the hose reels and, and railings and everything on here before I painted it all. Um, if it were a larger scale, then I could probably have done the hose reels separately. Um, and maybe uh, like some of these radar units here that they're gray they're supposed to be white oh I'll, I'll change that color i'll just paint and make them white um there's uh it's good it's good there we go we're almost there all right Oh, there it is. There we go. We can have a look at the edges of that. Come up nice. You see that bit of overspray, but that's no problem. That's basically going to be 
actually in the right position when it comes to the landing of the planes there so that's going to be um, certainly uh, not a problem when I weather this deck but the important bit is, bit, bit is all around this edging around the outside here it's all come up good okay it's not going to focus too well but there you go so now it's just a matter of placing this uh, on here we have an aircraft carrier that really looks like an aircraft carrier and we still have the elevators here which are all done completely done um, we'll go to the instructions what which what goes first but um okay so that's it for part five um, you can pretty much see what's going to come up in part six and uh, yeah so it's starting to look good there'll be a lot of um, touch up as well there'll be a little bits and pieces that need painting i'm going to paint those little hose reels that are all around the outside there with some uh, black or darker gray and um yeah so no problem i'll um so again thanks for thanks for watching um please subscribe if you haven't already um hit that bell for notifications comment below if you've got any comments um questions suggestions tips anything at all and give us a thumbs up if you like the video uh, i'll see you in part six thanks a lot bye for now